Good morning, oil traders. It's Newsday, August 30th. It's quarter after 8 a.m. Eastern Time. We're uh, about an hour 15 away from the market open here on the East Coast in North America. And it's Newsday. We got API news yesterday at 4.30 p.m., which I'll talk about in a second. And we've got EIA um, inventory news at 10.30 a.m. here on the East Coast. Um, API news more of nothing as per usual with API news. Um, it's right here kind of uh, to the left of center of the screen here. Uh, you can see that we made a sudden jump from 46.37 up to 46.50, but 15 cents, I mean nothing. Um, it tried to go up, came right back down and then some. Um, and we've been drifting lower ever since. Um, we're right now sitting at 46.11 and we've gotten as low as 46.05 uh, it certainly looks as though we're going to be opening below 46 but uh, we shall see we shall see um, EIA news at 10.30 will really give us the uh, kind of true direction let's call it uh, as what to expect as a result of Hurricane Harvey's impact in Texas and now soon to be Louisiana as the hurricane touches down again um, the impacts have been severe. Uh, the refineries are at half production uh, capacity. So the fact that oil is crude oil is dropping is kind of bizarre. I mean, logic would dictate that uh, supply is um, hampered and prices should be going up, but go figure. Um, I have, as far as my plans, so as you know, I still have the short at 45.90, um, but it's a small position. So if we take a look at my uh, portfolio here on uh, tradingjournal.ca, this is the uh, position that I'm talking about here. It's 13.27% um, of my portfolio. It, I've been holding it for 36, almost 37 days. Um, very, very small position. Um, it's in the money. Oh, or was in the money um, last time I updated this. So let me do a refresh here. And uh, it's likely about 1% out of the money now. Uh, oh, not, yeah, 2% out of the money. Um, so it's basically we ended kind of in the between my long and my short. Uh, I'm not going to be looking to be very greedy on that position. Uh, if we manage to fall as, you know, even something like 45 and a half, I would probably be looking to take a profit on that position. It would be, it would be minuscule, um, but I do expect that we're going to get some volatility and I would prefer to repos reposition that short at a better price and probably with a slightly larger stake um, that uh, allows me a little bit of a meatier take. Um, with uh, whatever volatility we get as a result of that bounce. Um, and of course, I've got a long position courtesy of Monday's um, drop that if we do spike on the EIA news, I've got the 46.50 long position to sell up above 47, hopefully much higher than that. But we shall see. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up down below in the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, performance, etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys close to or at closing here on the East Coast at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.